Greetings, citizens of the internet. Welcome to Tomorrow Daily, the best geek talk show in the known universe. I'm Ashley Escada. And I'm Jeff Kanata, and we're here to keep you up to date on the headlines. We've heard a lot about Harvard's robo-bees, but it looks like they've got some new tricks up their wings. The goal of the robo-bee is to create robot insects that can fly autonomously for sustained periods of time. They've been working on this bee for years now, and the most recent version is about the same size as the real thing. It weighs just 84 milligrams, which is lighter than a real bee, and it can do something previous versions couldn't. It can land on a wall during flight using electrostatic adhesion. RoboBee can stick to just about any surface and needs 1,000 times less power to perch compared to hovering which greatly extends its battery life. Research on RoboB will continue, and the team leader, Robert Wood, says it might be five to 10 years before we might see RoboB used in real world situations. Are they gonna be uh, pollinating robo flowers? That's, well, that, that's one of the things they're saying. They, uh, they would maybe consider robotic pollination. Well, that's good because I guess all the bees are dying off and we're doomed. So it is maybe really we have scary, to yeah. have the robot army save us in we this case. We may have to replace the lost bees with robo bees, which would be kind of cool. Yeah. Speaking of robots, guys, there's a robot that can now fold my laundry. So gimme, gimme, gimme. Foldy Mate just dropped a preview trailer for its robot laundry overlord. The bot has clips that you hang your clothes on and then it draws your shirts into the machine to be folded up nicely and stacked for putting away. It also has de-wrinkling, perfuming, softening, and sanitizing options available for an additional price. Sadly though, you will not be getting one for your significant other this holiday season because pre-orders won't start until next year and the Foldy Mate won't ship until 2018. And the starting price tag is an eye-watering $700. <laughs> Also, it cannot handle oversized items or things like underwear. But but who's folding their underwear? Number one, and also who's folding fitted sheets? No one, because we don't impossible. know how. It's, it's impossible. It's impossible to fold a fitted real. sheet. They need to invent a robot to do that. Yeah, I, that would be. There's no price too high for a robot fitted to do that. Fitted sheet robot. Sky's the limit. Blank check. This is the, the start of this story was so wonderful, and the end was so bad. Yeah, I, I, I want seven hundred dollars is way steep, and. Uh, not till 2018? Come two on. Two years. I gotta wait two years. Look, I already listen. stopped folding things just when I heard about it, and now I'm gonna have two years of unfolded laundry. I can only pre order one thing two years in advance, which is my Tesla. Your car. So, yeah, it's yeah. my car. I can't, there's no, I can't wait that long. It's too much. But, a lot, okay, so a lot of people, the argument is, I think we have to talk about this on Thursday oh, because definitely. there's a lot to, there's a lot to get into, yeah. and I'm dying, I'm so dying to know what you guys think of the Foldy Mate. Uh, okay, there's a huge schism. And people, there's a, there's a canyon between them. Right. One side says, this is the laziest thing I've ever seen in my life. People are the worst. Not wrong. You're not wrong. Uh, and yet. And yet. <laughs> the majority of people, if you look at polls about this thing, say, this is the greatest thing since sliced bread. I want one, but not at $700. <sighs> I want the, the, the Roomba to, to move, hit my laundry, toss it to the foldy mate, who then folds <laughs> Catapults it. Catapults it. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a Rube Goldberg machine of robots. Oh, I like that a lot. I'm, I'm I like that. that a lot. Of laundry folding. <laughs> I absolutely hate folding uh, anything, so right. this makes Paper. me so happy. I'm ready. Um, okay, so hashtag hey TD. You can, we'll talk about it on Thursday if we, if we see your comments up on Twitter. Yeah, I'm sure people have lots to say about that, but let's get to our photographer of the day. Today's photographer of the day is Michael, who took this selfie with his iPhone 6S. Yes, Michael writes in, he says, hey guys, love the show. Here are some selfies that JD Lil Chard took. He has his own Instagram, so he likes to show off sometimes. He's my bare burly man that goes on adventures around Portland, Oregon. Thanks for doing what you do and keep on being awesome. These may not be appropriate for the show, but if nothing else, I hope you get a real kick out of them and use what you want. All shot on my iPhone 6 and 6, 6S. P.S. You're both total babes. I'll Wink. take it. Wink. Uh, yeah, that's JD Lil Chard. Um, JD Lil Chard JD, driving. JD Lil Chard uh, has a series of photos. They're great. Um, <laughs> he's adorable. And I highly recommend checking out that Instagram because it delighted me beyond end. Uh, if you guys want to be like Michael, though, and you want to send in your selfies, and you can get creative just like Michael did. Yeah. These guys, I love JD it. Lil Chard, 
uh, you can send in your photography for this month. The theme is selfie mm -hmm. to tomorrow at CNET.com. Yeah, be sure to tell us what device you took it on. Give us permission to use it on the show. Tell us how to pronounce your name. And we love those little stories about why you took that picture, especially with this theme. Yeah, and you're also completely allowed to tell us we are total babes in every email you send. 100% <laughs> welcome. We'll Compliments always welcome. Uh, you guys are the best. Please share the show. TomorrowDaily.com is where to send a friend. We always appreciate that. And uh, you can find us online. We will be back tomorrow. Uh, we're very excited to welcome Jensen Karp, oh, who fun. is going to talk about his book, Kanye West Owes Me $300. Oh, 300 so bucks. Funny. Very excited. Uh, really, really cool guy. Super, so funny. Um, can't wait. So that is it for today's show. Until next time. Be good humans. Okay. Oh, yeah.